Good evening, church family. This is Pastor Dennis, and uh, I wanted to take a few minutes and address uh, some of the concerns and some of the things that are going on around the world, uh, specifically in our country, as well as locally here in uh, Georgetown. And before I address some of the things that we're going to do as a church and how we're going to meet and how we're going to continue to be able to feed you, our church, the Word of God, I wanted to read a, a, a psalm here in Psalms 91 just to uh, remind ourselves that we are not people of fear, that we walk by faith and not by sight. And I think now more than ever, as I preached this past Sunday, we need to remind ourselves that we are faith people. And no matter what comes, we are going to stand in faith and stand in faith together. And we will get on the other side of this in Jesus' name. And I think in this time, it's important for us to remind ourselves of who we are in Christ and how we're gonna stand in this time. So in Psalms 91, it says, he that dwelleth, verse one, in the secret place of the Most High God shall abide under the shadows of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilences, which would include viruses, that walketh in darkness, for the destruction that, lay, that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thy eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thy dash thy foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder and the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. And that's a psalm that we all need to stand on, that God is our deliverer. And he's delivered us from this time, and he shall deliver us. In 2 Timothy 4.18, it says he delivers us from every evil work and preserves us into his heavenly kingdom. So just remind yourself and continue to confess the word of God that we are delivered and we will get on the other side of that. So with all that's going on in the world today and due to the restrictions and the things that our government has imposed on us right now of meeting, of uh, we can't meet with no more than 50 people. And in fact, he's even recommended 10 people. Uh, we're going to go to, uh, to really an online experience. It's gonna be a digital experience where we're gonna have our uh, services on Wednesday nights and Sunday mornings, not Sunday night. So we'll have a Wednesday night service starting tomorrow night. And we'll also have Sunday morning services and they'll start at the normal time. And what I want you to do is gather your family around the computer and we're again having it online and we'll be doing a live stream service here. There will be a few people uh, that we are going to have here that'll be the worship team uh, primarily because we can only limit it to 15 people. Um, and so there'll be a little bit of praise and worship and we'll get right into the word and uh, we're gonna do our best as your pastor to feed you in this way. Again, it'll be a digital only experience. Now, uh, if you want to tune in on, on our website, you can go there. If you wanna tune in on Facebook, you could also go there. Both of those uh, uh, areas you can go to and view uh, the service and it will be live. Because as pastors, you know, it's our uh, heart and uh, no matter what we're going through to continue to feed your spiritual life. And so uh, again, I want to encourage you as it relates to, or give you some instruction as it relates to giving, uh, returning the tithe and giving of offerings. On our website, you can go to donate and you can put your tithe in there, or your offerings in there. That's one way you can do it. You could also do text to give, which we will give you the instructions. And if you have any questions, please call the church and the church will be able to help you in that regard. Also, if you're uncomfortable about doing the digital um, way of giving, you could also put it in the mail and you could send it to Church on the Rock, PO Box 1133, 
Georgetown, Texas, 78627. So you could also mail it to us. And uh, also, if you'd like to come by the church and drop it off, that would be available during our regular uh, church hours. And so we want all of you to know that we're closely monitoring the situation. And as soon as we can gather together again, we will certainly let you know. I will be doing updates <clears throat> in the future so that everybody will be aware of what's taking place. Now, if you have any questions whatsoever, please call the church. My staff will be here every day as long as uh, it, it's permittable. Uh, we will be there, uh, they'll be here every day to answer questions if you have questions. And also, I want you to know on behalf of me and my family and my wife, we love you. We're standing in faith with you. And we will get on the other side of this in Jesus' name. God bless you, and we look forward to seeing you on a, on a live stream. Bye-bye.